Hi there, and welcome to the Met Office forecast for the week ahead. High pressure has brought us a prolonged settle spell during the past week. But over the next week, as that high pressure remains close, the question is, will it bring us any sunshine? The high is moving to the east. We've got more of a southerly airflow, but we've still got the jet stream pushing well to the north of the UK, directing the more unsettled Atlantic weather away from the UK for the time being. So widely settled on Tuesday, but that doesn't necessarily mean sunny skies. A lot of low cloud once again covering the UK. One or two exceptions parts of North Wales, Northern Scotland, and perhaps later on a few cloud breaks developing in the south and southeast. Otherwise, it's grey skies once again, a few spots of drizzle in the west, a bit of a breeze in the west as well. That breeze coming from the south providing mild air, 13 or 14, even 15 in the south. A little bit fresher for Northern Scotland, but nevertheless, it is a settled end to the day. So if you're heading out to view fireworks, bonfire evenings, looking calm and settled, fairly straightforward, one or two cloud breaks possible, otherwise generally cloudy skies, a few light showers in the west perhaps, drizzly rain here and there, especially over western hills, most places though dry, a bit more of a breeze in the west of Scotland, some showery rain turning up later, the most reliable clear skies, northeast Scotland where temperatures will fall away after dark, but otherwise for the vast majority, high pressure clings on. And ahead of this cold front that's bringing the showery rain, actually temperatures rise because we've got this warm air coming up from the south. So it's a remarkably mild start to Wednesday, but it could be a very gloomy start. We've got the bonfire smoke, we've got the potential for clear spells overnight, forming fog in places. All of that leading to some persistent mist and fog across southern areas in particular. First thing Wednesday. Again, there'll be some cloud breaks. West Wales, for example, northeast England, more reliably northern Scotland as the cloud breaks up over the hills to the south, but it is a mild day, mid teens in many places. Thursday starts off similar, mild but gloomy. Some persistent fog could last all day in one or two spots because it is November, the sun is weak. But otherwise, it's overcast skies, a few spots of drizzle here and there, especially in the west. Again, northern Scotland favoured for cloud breaks and Remarkable temperatures could be 15, 16 or even higher in some parts of, say, the Murray Coast because of the wind warming up and drying out over the hills to the south. Higher pressure stays to the east as we go into Friday, but a weather front does tend to sneak in from the west, and that's going to bring about a change for Northern Ireland through the day and then later other western fringes of the UK. Increasingly breezy, outbreaks of rain moving in during the morning, turning heavy at times by lunchtime. Those outbreaks of rain, fairly showery in nature, reaching western Scotland, west Wales, drier to the east, some clear spells for northeast Scotland, northeast England once again, but it's a wet end to the day for western and central Scotland, northwest England. These are the kinds of rainfall totals we're talking about through Friday, 15, 20 mils or so in some of the wetter spots perhaps up to 30, but nothing of a huge concern. It's just a change compared with the last week or so. A few spots heading into the south as well, but this front is weakening as it runs into higher pressure. It then swings away. What it does do is it allows clearer skies, fresher air to come into the north and west, so a better chance of sunshine across Northern Ireland, Scotland and parts of Northern England. On Saturday, cloudier skies further south and southeast and a few spots of rain as the front clears away. Then another weather front turns up later in the day on Saturday, so effectively a repeat with some rain moving into the northwest, weakening as it crosses the country. There are some question marks though about this low pressure attached to the weather front and how close it will get to the northwest of Scotland, how many isobars will be attached to it, and it could bring a, a windy spell in the far northwest on Saturday night going into Sunday. Either way, once that system's through, it does follow the jet stream to the north of the UK, so nothing widely unsettled. And then it does move through, and for the start of next week, high pressure builds back in. So, yeah, effectively, next week, more of the same. A lot of low cloud, some mist and fog in places.